that's your writing and oh there's my. your signature. We were eight and nine years old when we first fell in love. We became engaged when we were 18 and 19. At which point I got shipped overseas. He didn't write, so I didn't think he loved me. And then I broke off the engagement, then we didn't see each other. Both of us had families, and our marriages did not continue. And I had thought about her all through the years, so I found her 34 years later. We were married about two years later. Finally. <laughs> when we were married about 17 years, David was told he had a cancerous growth on his kidney, and they wanted to do surgery immediately, and possibly his whole kidney would have to be removed. We asked, didn't he want to do a biopsy? And he said, no, that a biopsy was not done on the kidney. There was a danger of both bleeding and seeding, that is the spreading of malignant cells throughout the body. I asked him if there was anyone else he could refer us to. He said, I heard there's some doctor at UC Irvine Health. When I researched Dr. Landman, I found he had many less invasive techniques that he used. Mr. and Mrs. Pearl came essentially just to have their surgery performed. And I think they were very surprised that we suggested renal biopsy. To our shock, he said the problem of seeding was almost non-existent. He also had a new technique for a biopsy that was even safer. Do the biopsy? Here at UC Irvine Health, We've helped create a revolutionary biopsy technique by collaborating with industry and helping them perfect the technology. The magic of this technology is that it facilitates a difficult task. Historically, a traditional biopsy has a probe and a separate needle, and it's of extraordinary difficulty to take that needle and strike the target. In contrast, using the new technology, there's a dotted line that's virtually projected on a screen. And by putting the needle through the probe, you can very precisely target both the kidney and the tumor. That gave us full confidence to go on with the biopsy. Are you ready for your biopsy? I'm ready. The patients lie on their belly and their back's already numbed up. The needle follows exactly along that virtual dotted line. As soon as it's outside the tumor, we deploy the needle, and now we've taken a biopsy. There was virtually no pain. The first thing I knew, Dr. Landman was saying, we're done. You did just great. He put his hand on me and he said, I'm fairly confident that this is benign. He said, but even if it's not, I want you to know that everything will be all right. I knew we were in the hands of a person who had the expertise and the caring to make whatever journey it was we were going to be making. When I got the final results, I was so excited to call Mr. Pearl and tell him that he did not have cancer, that he would not need surgery, and he would likely never need surgery. I was just filled with excitement, gratitude. Suddenly, we're treating kidney cancer in a much more precise way. 20% of patients didn't need surgery. It's actually shocking that this isn't being done all over the world. It has such great value for improving the standard of care. We lost each other once and we don't ever want to have to do that again. And hopefully we never will.